Today we're gonna to be trying two cakes from Sam's Club and I wanted to start the video off over here so that Kevin can get up close to each one of these uh, cakes that we're gonna be trying and you can really see it. This, uh, this is a Members Mark Sam's Club Tuxedo Bar Cake. It's a great big bar. And then this is a Pumpkin Cookie Butter Bar Cake. And we'll talk about price and all that when we get over to the table, but I thought um, I would cut into it and uh, let you see what it looks like. I'm just gonna go right here. I know that's a huge slab, but I want, I really want to be able to see what it looks like. It looks exactly the same. I can see that right now. Yeah, exactly the same. And I'm gonna clean my knife off. Okay, and now I'm gonna cut into this one. This was, um, it's a softer cake, I can tell you that, just from the knife cutting into it. It feels softer to me. So now we'll take them over to the table and give them a try. Okay, so these bar cakes are $16.98 at Sam's Club, so it doesn't matter what the, the, the weight of it is, that just must be what they charge. Um, let me see, because uh, there's there's very little uh, honestly weight difference. Uh, the tuxedo cake was two pounds seven ounces, and the pumpkin cookie butter bar cake was two pounds four ounces. So it's just literally ounces difference. Um, but sixteen ninety eight, you might think that's a lot, it's but a it's a big cake. Yeah, I mean, you, you take it to a gathering of some kind of slice off slices. You'll have a yes, lot of slices. Absolutely, and you buy these. You go ahead and take you take the first bite. You buy these back in the bakery department, so they do have things out on tables that you can buy, like muffins and stuff like that, um, donuts, and this is actually in the refrigerated bakery section. Yeah, this would go a long way. If you're not gonna cut them like I did. This could feed, I wonder how many people they, they plan on feeding, because you could feed quite a few people with that. Quite a few. I mean, look at that. I don't think it says. Like serving size? Mm mm. Oh, that's so good. I guess you just cut it as me as thick as you want. Um, it is good. It has a, a really nice chocolate flavor. It's not as it's not as sweet as you might think it would be. Mm -hmm. It is sweet. Don't get me wrong, but it's not. It's it's more of a rich chocolate flavor than a than a sweet chocolate flavor. Uh huh. It's really good. I'm dissecting it. The cake is a little dense. Um, it could be that white part cold. is hardly sweet at all. I mean, there's hardly any sweetness at all to that white. I would say there's not a lot of flavor to that white. If part you either. got, if you got just that white by itself, it's you wouldn't want it by itself. Not much. It's probably just mm -mm. Really green. No, the um, now that's delicious. The that bottom layer, that like whipped chocolate looking, that light chocolate. There's a lot of sweetness there. There's a lot of sweetness in the very very top. Um, the cake is nice itself. It, it's um, it's not wet or anything like it's that. It's dense. Yes. It's a denser cake. But, but that white part, literally you get no sweetness. I think it's just giving it some color on it. I literally think it's cool with it. Um, but um, I don't know because it's too thick. Is it thick? Yeah. It's very thick. Yeah, look at the back part. Yeah, I see what you're saying. That's too thick. It's not. It's definitely not cool whip because cool whip you would have squashed it on that cake. Yeah, it's not. Just a cream. But it's just. I'm just saying. There's it no have flavor sweetness though. at all. There is flavor there though. There's flavor, but not sweetness. No, not sweetness. But that is a delicious cake. I would be happy to pick one of those up and oh, yeah, take it to a to gathering. A, to, at an event of some kind. Yes, have it. Have it. Yeah, at the house to cut. Um, very, very delicious. Now, yeah, the, and you could buy it. And, well, you'd probably want to. You probably wouldn't slice it at the event, but you could slice it before and then put it in a pan. But, or you could slice it. I would wait and slice it when I wanted it for when I, when people walked up because it wasn't any trouble at all. Uh, this is the pumpkin cookie butter. Kevin's gonna get two bites before I get I my first two. one. <laughs> okay, that's okay. I'm glad you like it. Look how. I didn't think the same thing with the charcoal. <laughs> that is a very, very nice pumpkin flavor. Mm -hmm. And what I like about it is it's not like a too seasoned. 
So they don't have a lot of pumpkin spice in there. It's so just a lot of just pumpkin. You you get a lot of pumpkin. Mm-hmm. I can't say cookie butter. I wouldn't necessarily say cookie butter. I would just say it's a pumpkin spice cake. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like if you made. It tastes like something you'd make homemade. Like if you made a, a pumpkin spice cake at home and you just made it thinner and made layers, that's what that's like, but they've done all the work for you. I, 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 I wonder if they put the cookie butter names just to make it fancy. I think that's what's on top. Well, oh, okay, because I didn't get a big hunk of that. But um, It's got crumble on top, which I'm assuming is the cookie butter. Or the speculoos cookies. No, no, I didn't get really a cookie butter flavor either. I don't either. It's no, it's just a, it's just pumpkin spice. That's I all. I think it most is. of the flavor is coming from that top layer because I got some cake out the bottom. It really didn't have. I mean, it's got flavor, but it's not really strong layer uh, flavor. I think you have to get the frosting, and we're gonna sit here and dissect it. Well, I, I know. I think. See, I'm not agreeing with him. I think the flavor is coming from the cake. Yeah, but it's not as strong if you just eat the cake. No, you gotta eat it all together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like it's in the frosting no. and the cake, so it's, it's it helps elevate it both ways. But it's absolutely delicious. It is very, very good. And I'm, I'm like I said, I'm glad they didn't overdo it on the pumpkin spice mm -hmm. part. And it's just a really nice pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice kind of flavor. I would absolutely, if I were looking for a pumpkin spice, a pumpkin spice cake, that's the one I would get. Yeah, it's very Because very nice. you can find a lot of pumpkin spice desserts at different grocery stores in their um, bakery departments, but they're not all gonna be as fresh and delicious as this. And um, just, it's it's the perfect texture of cake. It's not it, it's not hard, It's there's no bitterness to either one of them. Mm. They're both excellent quality mm. cakes. The cake, the only thing you might notice about the texture is the cakes are a little denser where they've been refrigerated, but, but that's, that's it, it's not bad. I was afraid, my fear was that they would be uh, a little wet yeah. because they had been refrigerated. Not at all. I brought up, I, you, I don't know if you have to store them in the refrigerator or not. They don't have that on here. It doesn't say to store them in the refrigerator, but that's what I did. So they had them refrigerated. I put them in my refrigerator and then I laid them out like 10 minutes before I knew Kevin were gonna, and I were going to try them. That's just how I did it. You you might leave them out all the time at home. Um, but I, I would absolutely be proud to buy either one of these yeah, and, one and serve them to anybody. Yeah, they're, they're both really, delicious. Really good. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.